Hello everyone again. Today, me, Pranas, and my colleagues Thomas and Ernestas would like to introduce you with the newest features of Teltonica Network's remote management system. Uh, we will be starting with a quick RMS overview for them who are still not familiar with our remote management system. Um, we will go through the recent RMS updates and then introduce the most important new RMS features, VPN. To present these features in more practical way, Thomas will illustrate it with demo session. And don't worry, if you will have any questions, it will be the time for them at the end of the webinar as usual. Please use Q&A section for these questions. And in the end of this webinar, we will have a poll. Please answer these questions. They are important to improve our services and upcoming webinars. So, RMS is a web-based IoT platform created by Teltonica Networks and it is based on AWS Cloud. RMS is compatible with all our TRB and RUT series devices and main functionalities includes remote management and control of your whole network infrastructure. Until recent days, RMS had three main parts management that gives full control over your fleet of Teltonica networks routers and gateways and ensure their security and availability. Connect, allowing you to reach and control other smart devices remotely, even without public IP. API that helps you to take what you need from RMS and implement it into the IoT platform of your choice. Starting with management, it is very important to understand that RMS can offer by controlling your whole fleet of Teltonica routers and gateways. RMS will save you costs usually spent on expensive engineers. You will not need to calculate the time spent on fixing the product or changing the configuration or even updating the firmware. You will be able to do everything by yourself. More, with historical data that RMS is keeping, you will be able to make assumption that what is the best for your business? And lastly, with the whole bunch of alerts and notifications, you will be alarmed any time when something will. Connect part includes three different versions or access protocols. HTTP, HTTPS for accessing third-party device, web UI remotely, SSH for accessing CLI, and desktop to access Windows or Linux machines desktop via RDP or VNC protocols. With all these features, you will be sure that you will be able to access any device in the same network where you have at least one hour product. So again, instead using different software, having a bunch of engineers, you will need only RMS Connect and you will have full control of your whole infrastructure. And lastly, API. API will enable a possibility to control everything from any platform of your choice. Let's say you are a manufacturer and you are having your own software and you do not want to change it or use two different platforms. Well, it's easy. Just use RMS. Configure your API and that's it. You will be using one single platform and get features from both. So lately, we have updated our remote management system with following features. More about them will tell my colleague Thomas. Thank you, Pranas. And once again, hello, everybody. So just like many other functionalities in RMS, Task Manager was initially inspired by one of our clients before it became available to all users. Look at, let's look at this simpler. Task Manager allows creating a list of different commands and send them for remote execution in selected routes. It could be several customized tasks, which will be used only by your company and nowhere else. With Task Manager functionality, you can add unique features to your RMS account and enable them on the whole fleet with a single click. To imagine this better, uh, think of a custom software of your company, which you want to periodically collect data and download some information files from it, while keeping log entries about the event. With Task Manager, you can add several tasks which will be, <clears throat> which will be uh, sent to device one after another, and all with a single click with a selected device in RMS. So you can imagine this feature is really helpful with the custom needs. 
The next feature, which you already know from RootOS, is site blocking. It allows to grant or restrict access to a list of websites on a specific network. With site blocking in RMS, it is possible to create websites black or white lists that filters them out on the local network. As you can imagine, this function is often used by in a network in, in a work environment or by hotspot providers who have access to streaming, social networks, or illegal content platforms has to be limited due to work or legal purposes. With RMS, black and list uh, filters, you can apply and manage many of them with, to all devices the, in the same way as it would be in a single one. So your network admin will thank you for this feature. Constantly, we are, constant, we are improving and expanding RMS functionality in different ways. One of our focus is the possibility to enable access of third-party devices. And with new RMS Connect remote mobile devices functionality, we enabled Android and iOS devices stream uh, device screens mirroring in real time. To make this uh, work, you, uh, RMS app must be downloaded to device and install it to it. After this is done, the technician from the remote computer can send and request to mirror screen of the mobile device. Uh, to imagine where this feature might be useful, think about that, that most restaurants and bars, uh, POS systems currently working on the iOS, iPads, or Android tablets. And in case of bug or miscommunication, the technician can request access to that POS system and check what is happening uh, with device when worker works with it and see what he might be doing wrong or where software failing. Other RMS Connect update added support of secure file transfer, transfer protocol or SFTP in short. With a secure shell streaming, we ensure that connection between user and end device is secure. And with, with SFTP, you as a user can be confident that files which you are uploading or downloading to or from remote device will not be intercepted in transfer process. So this feature is quite a must when you have digital signages or other devices where data changes must be done on fly. Lastly, the last protocol which expanded RMS Connect is Telnet. It is an additional communication option for users who needs to access an industrial device common line interface. Similar to SSH, uh, Telnet provides access to CLI uh, to devices which support this protocol. Uh, what you require here is only two things, industrial PC with Telnet support, and it must be connected to RMS enabled device LAN. After that, you can access that device with the same logins as you would in factory or other place when connecting directly to it. And that was last new features for RMS management and connect. But let's go to the main uh, star of this presentation, RMS VPN. Uh, as some uh, of you already noticed, on August the 3rd, we have made a noticeable update. Within, with, with it, the RMS functionality was expanded with a new feature. From now, RMS has these four parts instead of three as before. And this, they are management, connect, VPN, and API. So without holding you down, let me further introduce RMS VPN. Uh, so what is RMS VPN? RMS VPN is a service designed for remote, efficient, low-cost management of large-scale networks. As opposed to point-to-point -point VPN service, RMS VPN creates encrypted tunnels for secure access of multiple endpoints within a matter of seconds. And let's see how it looks like with my next slide. So manufacturing facilities, plants, and other places uses PLCs and HMIs, which communicate on different protocols. 
The growing trend for automation brings challenges that require remote access due to increased efficiency, reduced downtime, and optimizing the costs. Um, our MSVPN allows establishing secure remote access to multiple applications, regardless of the protocol, checking and changing configurations, and completing other essential tasks. So let us analyze the topology you see now. To establish remote access using remote RMS VPN, you only need these parts. RMS capable Teltonica device, RMS account, and any VPN client with OpenVPN support. And that is it. These three parts enables you to reach any device with any protocol available remotely. Of course, you might ask, it's very similar to RMS Connect and does RMS VPN can coexist at the same time? My answer is yes. Let me explain with the help of this table. RMS Connect can establish communication with one endpoint, a device comparing to a VPN, which has a virtually unlimited number of connections at the same time. Despite that, the process of setting RMS Connect will take way less time comparing with the VPN. Connect has all tools integrated into the web, but VPN requires downloading and installing OpenVPN client, and of course, additional communication software for each protocol with the device. But because of text of threats, RMS VPN brings versatility and allows communication with remote devices using an unlimited number of protocols where Connect, where RMS Connect is limited to a single one per connection. So at this point, you as a user have to choose what is needed in your use case, quick setup or versatility. Since either functionality pricing is the same, one credit for two gigabytes of consumed data. To visualize this more uh, and better to you, Let's look at this picture. At the top, you see that RMS Connect only accesses one specific protocol at a time. While comparing at, with the bottom picture, RMS VPN has full, full access to the whole network infrastructure, no matter of protocols. So you can compare this to by yourself. Furthermore, RMS VPN is a secure service and uses only encrypted tunnels. And what is the benefit of RMS VPN? It is the ability to reach multiple endpoints using any number of protocols at a single time. Those protocols can be even your custom ones while they communicate over ethernet. So just like RMS Connect, RMS VPN also works as on-demand service, which means that you only pay for what you use. As a result, you may save not only on traveling and training expenses for staff due to remote access, but also on functionality, since we only charge for used data. As others might limit the number of active VPN clients, we do not do that. More than that, if required, you can get data usage reports, which you will see later. And even developing RMS VPN, we kept in mind our motto and made all configurations free and easy to set up. So let's look at the demo, which I will present you now to show how it's easy to create and use our RMS VPN. First of all, let's log into RMS account where all magic happens. And I hope so that you all are, you all are using Teltonic ID to uh, to harden your uh, to harden your RMS account security, since two-factor authentication is way more greater increases the security of device itself uh, compared with, with a strong password, since the hacker must get two uh, parts of your network. So. When connected to RMS, you will see that new menu part is you get showing. So let's let's go to VPN Hub, and here you will see that your all your old or currently working or disabled hubs uh, with all information, and of course here you can create new ones. So for demonstration purpose, I will create new one, 
And since my demo will be related with the factory, so let's create the factory. So factory, uh, factory in UK, let's make it since we're working in Lithuania. The description part is optional, but again, it brings so much information for other engineers which are working. So again, always add additional information for people who you're working with since you have the ability. Here, I'm gonna show some examples with IP camera and switch. So IP camera, switches. And of course, as a whole RMS uses, RMS VPN is not an example. Uh, is not uh, an exception. It uses tags. Tags are a way to control and manage your information in RMS. With tags, you can easily sort different parts and have way faster and way easier workflow with that information in RMS. So let's make it add several tags just to show. Oh. There's no space to support. Okay, uh, so just add dashes. And now with this, we have created a VPN hub, which also works is a VPN server. From here, we can go and start at clients and connect the networks together. So all of, as I mentioned, when creating information, in general tab, you will see three main parts. The first one, the information we have, I have entered when creating this hub. Then the status uh, table, where you see the status of um, the hub itself. And of course, a number of active sessions and used data. And lastly, we have a table of active sessions. You will see this later when we have, we'll add clients. Of course, if there is a question how to set up RMS VPN, you can always click on this button and we get, you will be redirected to our video which showing step-by-step step how to do this. So let's add some clients. Uh, RMS VPN uh, allows to have three different type of clients. So already existing RMS users, RMS devices, and of course, custom users. Custom users are the users which are not registered to RMS it does not belong to your RMS account, but you wish to provide the access to network which you are creating. So just an example, let's create a custom user. And with this, you will create a custom user and you will be able to control it, delete it, change and set static AP for it. And of course, download its config. And if required, you can temporarily disable or enable its activity. Of course, you can use uh, an existing user. So for example, my account is this one and let's add it to RMS Hub to see how it works. Again, same things that and I'm an RMS user. And again, you can, you can delete this account, change IP address, config download, and of course, temporarily disable and enable. And lastly, let's add several RMS devices, our routers. So let's add this one, which I will use for my demonstration. And let's add another one device. Uh, what One thing you've may notice that electronic devices do not have ability to download the config of them. Uh, this is because RMS may configure them uh, automatically and you don't have to worry. With Sultanica devices working on RMS, you can easily add uh, devices to your hub and they will be automatically connected to the, to the server itself for communication. So you only have to worry for users and custom users at this time. Of course, in future with RMS VPN client, you will do not have to worry even about your PC, but about this later. So since we are at this point, let's configure my PC. So let's download the configuration file. Uh, let's save it on PC and let's make it work 
and connect my PC to this hub, which I just configured. Connect, connect VPN hub. Uh, you have to use third party VPN client, which supports open VPN, uh, which supports open VPN communication. Uh, with, for this, I'm using an op official OpenVPN Connect uh, client, but again, you are you can use any other client you wish and you like. For me, I just chose this one. In the future, and our team working hard to bring the RMS VPN client for PC, which will be fully integrated with RMS, and you just simply can log into it when you download it. And from that point, everything will work automatically, same as with RMS devices. You will add RMS user to your hub, which are linked with RMS VPN client software on your PC, and it will be automatically synced together. And there will be, for example, uh, no problems to connect and configuration free process to establish communication between different networks. After that, when we added all clients, we have to make routes to know devices, how to access each other. So for this, I want to access several devices on these routers and I will add some routes. So for example, just selected side entrance and with RMS auto scanning, you can easily select device IP address and see what you're happening on this device LAN. So at this point, I want to add this controller or of course you have to know the IP address of it, but with that knowing, and uh, you do not have to worry about, uh, about subnets, about IP addresses, you just get the list, select device you want, add, and from here, you see that the route is added automatically without the words. Let's add another route to another device. And from here, I'm selecting this device, which is IP camera. Again, simply few buttons, you have device and route added here. Uh, to make this communication working, you also have to enable LAN routing here. Again, this. This is an additional secure measure to prevent uh, unauthorized access to the network. So again, user uh, know what he's doing here. And with added routers, we have to restart the hub since again, all configurations must be loaded to all the clients. And this is done by restarting VPN server. While server is restarting, let's go to configuration tab here. More advanced users might require to change some uh, parameters of the OpenVPN servers. For example, you want to use another IP address or you want to change the size of the network. So you can easily do this here. And if required, you can, <clears throat> uh, and if required, you can choose any parameters to like. Same is here with DHCP options can add your custom DHCP options, which requires for your network and communication. Since my demo does not require to change any of this, and I'm happy with this, I'm leaving this as is. So let's look if our VPN started. Okay, let's restart once again. And we have working VPN hub just perfectly. Okay, so let's see what we can see in our laboratory. So for demonstration purpose purposes and let's see if we can access my media yes now everything works as correctly let's plug in it yeah and what we see uh, in our lab we see that our panel of plc has showing the red light so it looks like it might be an issue with uh, our process and just imagine, uh, just imagine that uh, it might be the process and we have to check it remotely. What is happening with this? Maybe it's everything okay, but some error is left in the PLC itself. So for this, let's connect to other our device and see what is happening there. 
and while it's loading. Uh, with this communication, uh, I see that uh, when, when entering this kind of device, we can have logs, uh, we can have controls of it. And if you imagine the PLC, you can have a number of parameters here. Here, I see that you can see that in logs, the issue was removed hours ago, and this is just redu uh, redundant uh, message that shows that everything is okay. So we can clear the status to everything is okay, change it to green, and everything works as expected. With that done, and most likely some engineers, uh, when they work, reported you that everything is correct and everything is fixed now, you can get back to your uh, RMS hub. And for example, to prevent data usage uh, unnecessary or just to protect uh, your remote network from a, a, a possibility to access of other user which has uh, which has configuration, but you don't want to, you can easily, with one button click, disable a whole, a whole hub. And with that, all devices which was connected to the network is now removed ability to access it. And just to see it, you can look at a data stream and you see that now I've lost my data streaming. Same as with the controls of device. I tried to access it and again, it will be cut off and you will see just now a moment error about timeout. And with this part uh, and showing that how it's easy to set up and control all RMS hub enabled VPN, I want to give my word back to my colleague Pranas to show you several ideas where RMS VPN can be used and of course, try RMS VPN yourself. And I, of course, I wish to see you, how you implement this in your solutions. So thank you. And Pranas. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for a great demo session. So the first real world use case is about manufacturing plant infrastructure. Um, imagine that you have factory with PLCs and many controllers inside these PLCs, or especially Siemens controllers. In order to reach those controllers, you must have Siemens software inside the network, which costs a lot. Companies who are trying to save money and control not one but two or three factories are buying one single software to manage all these factories. So in order to control these networks remotely, you must have remote access possibility. RMS Connect is not suitable for that since it supports only one protocol at a time. But RMS VPN is perfect solution here. Our RMS VPN is also good for this solution since with it you can create VPN server, choose endpoints, and choose which engineers has access to it. Another use case is about building management systems or shortly BMS. Building management system includes quite a lot of different devices, such as uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, solar panels, data center, cameras, and many more. To control all of them remotely, you must have a solution which can of offer encrypted link to multiple devices with the support of different protocols, such as RMS VPN. With it, you can connect to HVAC, solar panels, routers, switches, cameras remotely and save a huge amount of costs. While VPN as a service is used uh, everywhere, I would like to highlight that the easiest way to get sales from VPN is to offer it to machine builders, industrial machinery manufacturers, or integrators who are offering full service to their clients. I believe you are also curious about pricing. So it's similar as RMS Connect. Every company gets five gigabytes for the start. After that, two additional gigabytes cost one credit, the same as RMS Connect. So if you are still not using our remote management system, don't wait. Register at our RMS webpage and create your account. You can have free trial version of RMS with every new device from us. 
And if you need additional information about RMS, visit our website. At our website, you can find more information about RMS features, download flyers, and if you like to go deeper in technical questions, tutorials are waiting for you. And remember, what's the most important? You can always reach our experts, the sales managers. We understand that all your business cases are different and every of it needs special view to find the best way to create value together. If you have a need for more information about RMS, please contact us. We are ready to help you. So this is basically all that we wanted to share with you today. And I would like to ask you to answer our poll questions. Uh, your answers are very important to us. And also please follow us on various social media channels. And if you would like to get all the latest news, feel free to subscribe to our newsletter.